President Donald Trump gets, uh, President-elect Donald Trump gets ready to head back to the White House. Many are wondering what will his presidency mean for California this time around. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell spoke with some experts. President-elect Donald Trump is no fan of California. When Trump campaigned in the state recently, he painted a dire picture of California's politicians and policies. Trump has repeatedly threatened to withhold federal aid for natural disasters, including wildfires. And during his first term, the state sued the Trump administration more than 100 times. There were times during his first term when he did follow up his bluster with action, and he's already made it clear that if Newsom does not work with them, particularly on water policy, he may do the same in the future. One of our central concerns is that he is going to play favorites with the states and target uh, progressive states, you know, states that didn't vote his way to both uh, restrict funding, uh, but then also, you know, put us under attack, you know, challenge our laws, challenge all the all the the infrastructure we have here to protect our communities. Reacting to Trump's victory over Vice President Kamala Harris, Governor Gavin Newsom said in part, California will seek to work with the incoming president. But let there be no mistake, we intend to stand with states across our nation to defend our Constitution and uphold the rule of law. California has dramatically different views than Republicans on issues like abortion. On Wednesday, Planned Parenthood said they have a plan to hold their ground and forge ahead. Also, California's large immigrant community with millions undocumented could be under attack with threats of mass deportations. The ACLU says they're standing by to file lawsuits and enact legislation to protect Californians. They want to roll back civil rights. They want to suppress communities. They want to uh, enforce a lot of their aggressive policies. And so we take them at their word. Experts say California can offer protection to its citizens on these issues in ways that other parts of the country cannot. The same way that voters in red states may have felt protection from Biden administration policies. In the newsroom, Josh Haskell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.